Pope Francis is well known in his public call for world unity by using his favorite buzzwords like unity, world unity, solidarity, brotherly love, the human family must come together to help each other, and the term interfaith dialogue among all religions. However, what most of the world's people today do not understand is that when the Pope speaks of world unity, then what he means without actually saying it is that he wants the world to unite under him. This is exactly what Roman Catholic doctrines say in the 1870 Vatican I and then Vatican II in 1965, saying that each sitting Pope is, quote, the supreme ruler and ultimate authority on earth and is subject to no one else, end quote. On the other hand, to the student of the Bible, this is pure folly. Nevertheless, these outrageous, self-exalting beliefs of the Pope are an exact match to the Bible prophecy in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4, saying that Antichrist, the Pope of Rome, will exalt himself, especially at the mid-seven-year point, when he then exalts himself even above God, and takes his seat inside the third temple, displaying himself as being God. And as outlandish as all of this sounds, the Pope's current momentum and hard push for world unity will not dissipate, but will actually increase and succeed in fooling billions right up to and into the nearing seven-year tribulation period. This is specifically shown in Bible prophecies like Revelation chapter 6 verses 1 and 2, showing Antichrist at the actual start of tribulation as a conquering rider on a white horse who goes out conquering and to conquer. Now in addition to this inevitable world unity coming under the Pope of Rome, then one other amazing deception of the Pope of Rome is also coming quickly into the forefront in this year of 2015, and that is the Pope's sudden and brand new public statement that, quote, the number one moral problem today of this generation is climate control, end quote. This is an unprecedented global sham in plain view. This recent news story in April 2015 is attached to the caption of this video for verification. So, in effect, we are witnessing two giant scams combining now. One is the biggest scam going today being the scientists' unproven claim that the human race better quickly control the global climate and control global warming to prevent a coming worldwide catastrophe and so this generation can survive. And the second scam, as the attached news article shows, is that global warming and global climate control now has its number one promoter being the Pope of Rome, even naming climate control as the world's number one moral problem, which our generation must urgently deal with. Again, these are two total hoaxes combined into one monstrous one-world government agenda being pushed onto today's generation. As I said, one hoax being climate control, and the second being the papacy itself, the hugest hoax in world history, being a man-made concept altogether from the 3rd and 4th centuries. Not one word in the Bible even remotely suggests the word pope or the concept of a supreme ruling Christian leader as the popes claim for themselves. In reality, the pope is Revelation's false prophet, the term being synonymous with the Bible's Antichrist, one and the same man, and being the most exalted man on earth today and in world history, precisely as Bible prophecies foretell. In summary, and beginning in the remaining months of 2015, the Pope will gain the global spotlight as the great humanitarian with his presentation of world unity and interfaith dialogue and brotherly love among all religions, which he has now wrapped all of this up into the deception of environmental climate control. And most of the 7 billion people today and its world leaders are primed to accept the Pope's massive deceptions hook, line, and sinker. For example, the prophecy of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 9 and 10 foretells that Antichrist will come with all the deception which could possibly exist will be packaged into one final man in the end times. And ultimately, as the recent video by HeIsNear.com details, then this September 2015 is when the One World Government agenda already signed by world leaders will be officially launched in the United Nations headquarters in New York. And the One World Government document itself not only includes these hoaxes of climate control and world unity, 
but the September 2015 launching ceremony itself will be led by the number one hoax in world history, the Pope of Rome, Antichrist.